Ah, it's been a little while. She's officially a tritune. And she is decked over. There's some half inch fur plywood. It has exterior glue between the veneers. It's called a Rocco. It's about $55 a sheet. It's like a cabinet grade plywood that resists water. I painted the bottom. Installed the deck. She's about 22 foot four inches now she's coming together uh, Monday I have to bring it to local wildlife and fisheries to get the inspection I've already paid for the title the registration and inspection oh, and I left the since my platform is eight foot two I've got almost an inch on each side I'm gonna come back Something like a tow rail all the way around it. Just haven't made, made that part yet. I say I got my trailer back freed up. I delivered that nice dock to golf port. Put this one back on the trail this morning. As you can see, the bottom side is painted with glidden exterior light gray deck paint because the main frame is treated I didn't get treated plywood my local lumber yard didn't have half inch treated all they have was five eighths it was about 70 pounds a sheet they couldn't get their hands on marine plywood they says it's about a six week wait for marine ply and they were unsure of the weight per sheet so I went with this uh, half inch Rocco really nice wood it's supposed to be held together with the exterior glue and have some water resistance so I think that combined with the paint I think it's gonna be fine this this boat's not gonna live in the water to my knowledge anyway but she's coming together maybe by tomorrow I can get the motor on the console the steering and go for a test ride with this new tritune see if I float any higher had a 7 inch draft as two pontoons with no deck these sheets weigh about 30 pounds per sheet so I'm expecting to be a 2 inch higher draft than when I had just two pontoons we're gonna find out and I'm also gonna coat the top with some gray and for the cabin I got some ideas for the cabin I'm gonna go go lightweight with it that way I can keep it on a single axle trailer if I go heavy I'm gonna have to upgrade the double axle I'm gonna try to keep it single I'll uh I'll update tomorrow maybe do a little another little test ride video but I mean we've all seen it ride but it'd be cool to see it again See y'all in the next one. Thank y'all.